everybody, this is Mary Ellen with Portraits of Me, and today I'm coming to you with a book haul. Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to film this video and share with you guys all the books I purchased when I was visiting my sister in Georgia. I took a vacation in Georgia, I think in the first week, second week of February and she took me to some bookstores, some secondhand stores, and I just can't wait to show you what treasures I found over there. And some of the bookstores that they have in Georgia, they don't have them from where I'm from, which is California. So I went to a few new places that was so fun to discover books in a different bookstore besides what I have here, which is basically Barnes & Noble. <laughs> so it was fun to check out some other bookstores. And I gotta say thank you so much to my sister and her husband because all these books that I'm going to be showing you, they treated me to them. So I didn't have to pay for them at all. So it was a nice little surprise to have all my book dreams come true while I was visiting them. Now I'm gonna go by locations and this is gonna be out of order because I don't have the best memory and I don't remember which bookstores you went to first. So I'm just gonna show you the piles of the books and tell you where I got them from. But they're in no particular order. I, the only one I know that I went to first was to Ollie's, cause I don't have an Ollie's in California. And so when they took me there, it was so exciting to walk in there and see a whole section of books for really, really cheap. Man, I wanted all the books, but I knew that I couldn't carry all those home with me, but let me go ahead and show you them. So the first one that I found at Ollie's was this one right here. This is Dream It, Do It. It's the story of Mar Marty Schuyler, and he is somebody to do with Disney. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure who he is. I'm sure my husband could tell you because he's a huge Disney fan and knows about all things Disney. Hey, it's editing Mary Ellen. I goofed up on this book's author. I mentioned this video to my husband about this book and he said the author's name and I was like, oh no, I said it wrong in my video. How embarrassing. So his name is not Marty Schuyler, it's Marty Sklar. And my husband also reminded me, I do know who this is because we actually saw him in person before. We went to some Disney mice chat breakfast about four or five years ago and he was there we got to meet him so i do know who he is and now i know how to say his name correctly so just wanted to plug that in because it was so embarrassing how i said his name okay let's take you back to the video but i got this book because it sounded really good i thought it would be fun and plus it had donald duck in the back He's my number one Disney character and I love Donald so I can't wait to get to this book and find out more about Mr. Marty and then also to find out more about Disney because I'm sure he has some good inside scoops to share with us. So that's the first book I got at Ollie's and this one was a, a whopping $4.99. I don't know if that's gonna focus because I have a phone that I film on not a camera but good price. The second book I got is one that I've been wanting for a long, long time, but just never got around to buying it. And I found it at Ollie's for $3.99. And that is this book right here. It is Ash Princess. So this one is a little bit different because it's just a hardcover book. There's no book cover to it. So, but luckily the, the outside cover is very pretty. So I can't wait to get to this book. This is about... Uh, I know I said I've been wanting this for a long, long time, but I can't really remember what it is. So let me just, and I can't read it to you because there's no flap. <laughs> but anyway, I know I've been wanting this one. I know it's going to be a fun one to read. And it says on the back, Princess, Prisoner, Orphan, Rebel. All things that I love in a story. So that's the second book I got. And then the next book I got was... $3.99 as well and that one is Once Upon a River. So that's this book here and this one is a retelling I think. It says three girls missing, one is returned, a story begins. So this one sounded really good. I did, I've never heard 
about this book, but when I saw it at Ollie's for really cheap, it sounded really good. Plus, it's from the author of The Thirteenth Tale, and I really enjoyed that book, so I thought, why not give this book a chance since it's by an author that I enjoyed a book from. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. So the next book I got was $2.99 and this is a deluxe edition of We Were Liars. And this one is about a beautiful and distinguished family, a private island, a brilliant damaged girl, a passionate political boy, a group of four friends, the liars, whose friendship turns destructive, a revolution, an accident, a secret, lies upon lies, true love, the truth. So that sounds interesting, not too thick, so I should be able to get through this one pretty quickly. So that's another book I got. And this book I found, it is The Mark of Athena, because I love Greek mythology. This is the third book in the series. I actually have book one and two. I got book one at a Goodwill, I believe, and book two I ordered from Thrift Books. I never hauled those books, so you wouldn't have seen that video. But this is the third book I found at Ollie's. It was only $3.99. And so now I have the first three books to the series. And the last book I got at Ollie's was $3.99, and it is To Best the Boys. And this one sounded very interesting. I've heard a few things on BookTube about this book. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Some people didn't like it because they, the synopsis of the story that's on the flap kind of didn't really encompass what the true story was about. But um, it's just, it does sound interesting. It's about every year for the past 54 years, the residents of Pinsbury Park have received a mysterious letter inviting all eligible eligible aged boys to compete for an esteemed scholarship to the all-male Stemwick University. And so I believe a girl tries to get into the university because she's going to best the boys. So that's this book right here. Sounds very interesting. And I'm probably going to read it not anytime soon, but I'll eventually get to it. I don't want to say I want to read all these books like really fast because it's probably going to take me a year or two before I get to all of them. I know. Gasp. Okay. So that is my first mini haul from Georgia. The next set of books I'm going to show you are from a secondhand local bookstore. And it's a, such a cute little store. It is called Blue Train Books. And every time I'm in Georgia, I go to this bookstore and I always support that local business by trying to purchase some books from them. But my sister bought these for me, so she supported them for me. And the first book that I like to go, well, I was going to show you the first book, but let me tell you a little story first. When I go to Blue Train Books, they have a nice Star Trek selection of books. And I'm a big Star Trek fan of the original series. So every time I go to Georgia and I go to Blue Train Books... I always beeline to their Star Trek section because I like to see what Star Trek books they have in stock. And in this trip, I found two Star Trek books. So the first one I found was How Much for Just the Planet. So that's this book right here. It is the original series and looks like there's Kirk and a Klingon on the cover. This is actually a character that was in the original series. I don't remember his name, but... I don't think I have this one, and so I decided to add this one to my collection. I'm not going to go into what it's about because it's Star Trek. Everybody knows it's a space exploration discovery kind of book. And then the next one I found that was Star Trek was The Next Generation, which I like to read those books as well. And that one is Crossover. And you probably can tell why I purchased this book as The Next Generation because I don't read a lot of The Next Generation. But this one is a crossover, so if, I can't see because of the glare, but there's Spock, who's original, Scotty, and Dr. McCoy. So you have all the original characters with the next generation, so that's going to make it an extra fun novel for me to read. Sorry it's so glary, but Blue Train Books protects their books by putting a nice cover over them, which I like. And then I found this book. I've never heard of it, but it sounded really good. It's Cold Rock River. So that's this book right here. And this one is about 1963 rural Georgia. 
And so it's around the Vietnam War time and a pregnant 17 year old girl discovers the diary of a pregnant 17 year old Tempe, who is a slave girl back in the Civil War. So it's going to talk about, I guess, those two pregnant girls, different times in history, but they're the same age, so they can relate to each other. So that sounded really good. So I decided to pick this one up and I am really looking forward to reading it. And this one's also signed. It's um, not to me, it's to, it's to Linda, but it was signed by the author in 2006. So that's pretty cool. And that's another book that I purchased. Okay, my sister purchased. <laughs> I keep saying I purchased, but you know my sister loves me and blessed me with all these books. So if I say I purchased, you know I meant she purchased. Okay, and then at Blue Train, I found another book to the Olympus series. And um, this is book five. So the only one I'm missing now is book four. And it's in really good condition. So I decided to put this one on my, on my list of books that I got from that location. So those are all the books I got at Blue Train Books. Probably should say their whole name. Blue Train Books. Okay, so the next two hauls that I have to show you are from, I think, secondhand stores. And I'm not sure what they were called because I, did, I don't remember. And my sister didn't put the receipts in the books because they were gifts. So I don't need to know how much she spent because I'll feel guilty if I did. <laughs> but normally I go off the receipts. But since there's no receipts, oh wait, I'm lying to you. I do that often on this channel because I forget things. Okay, this haul is not from a secondhand store. This is from Books A Million. We went to Books A Million because we don't have them here in California. And I love to go there because they have a Joe's Mugs, Joe Mugs coffee shop. It's like Barnes & Noble with their Starbucks coffee inside. But this one has Joe Mugs. And every time I'm in Georgia, my sister is nice enough to take me there so we can have coffee and then look at all the books. So of course when I go to major book retailers like Barnes & Noble and Books A Million, I always check out their sales aisles first because it's cheaper and I can get more books that way. So I went there and this is one of the books I found. It was in the Hurricane's Eye. So this is an author, Nathaniel Philbrick, how you say his name. I have several books from him and so when I saw this book I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. I don't have this one and I would love to read about it. So this is, it says The Genius of George Washington and the Victory at Yorktown. So another historical fiction book. And as you guys all know, I love historical fiction. So this is right up my alley and I can't wait to find the time to get to this one. And then another one I found there on the sales aisles was Karen Slaughter, The Good Daughter. So that's this book right here. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. And so when I saw it there for a really good price, I decided to pick it up. And this one, it says, two girls are forced into the woods at gunpoint. One runs for her life and one is left behind. So this sounds like a really good kind of thriller book. And yeah, maybe I'll get to this one soon. I hate saying that because my soon isn't really soon. <laughs> But I do want to get to this one. Sounds really good. And then the last book I got at Books A Million was this book right here. It is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I believe this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast or it has that kind of Beauty and the Beast kind of theme going through the story. And I've heard a lot of good things on Booktube. So I'm looking forward to reading this one and finding out if I like it as much as some of you guys like it. Okay, so now we're going to the secondhand books that we got at a secondhand bookstore. I don't, it's not a Goodwill, but it's Salvation Army, something like that. I don't know, but I found two books. The first one is The Devil in the White City. That's this book right here. I think this is a historical piece as well, but I don't remember what time frame it is. All I know, it says... Murder, Magic, and Madness at the Fair that Changed America. So another historical book that I've seen around on booktube. So I've heard good things about this. So 
I am looking forward to reading it. It does say number one national bestseller, so that should tell you something. So it should be pretty good. Plus, Murder, Magic, and Madness. Those are three M's that I like to read about. And the last one I got was The House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So that's this book right here. I am not sure what this is about, but it's by Nathaniel Hawthorne, and I like his books, so I'm hoping I like this one. I have this inside, which I like to find books that have these little pamphlets in it, and it tells you more about the book, and I think it's kind of interesting when they include these, mostly in secondhand books, because as you know, these books don't have covers on them with flaps that tell you about the book, so I think these are very fun addition to the older books if you can find them with that because it kind of gives you a little bit about the story and this one says in a brooding old new england house lived the last remnants of a once proud family haunted for generations by an ancient blood curse and seemingly doomed to extinction only in the budding love of two young people does there appear a hope that the demons of the past may yet be purged once and for all. Oh, see, that sounds good. So those were all the books that I got in Georgia. And once I went through all those places, found all these books, there's a huge stack. I don't know if I can show you. Can you see this? Oh, there you go. Anyway, you can't really see it, but <laughs> it's a big stack, trust me. So when i noticed i had such a big stack my sister just said that she would mail them to me so that was very nice of her thank you so much cynthia for mailing all these books to me in such good condition plus she snuck in a few books for me so let me show you what she added to this georgia haul okay the first book that i that she added was this book right here which i kind of introduced to you during my unhaul video but this is whittington it's about this cat who lives in a barn with all these barn animals. So you learn about them, but you also learn about his ancestor, which was a cat back in the 1700s, I believe. But it, he tells you that history of his life. So that was a really good book that I read. And I had the soft covered book. So when I saw that my sister added this to the books that she mailed over, I was so excited because I love hardback. So this has been added to my hardback collection. And then she added this book right here. It is the Red Badge of Courage. I don't know what it's about, but my sister added it. So it must be good because she has good taste in books. And I'll go on Goodreads and find out a little bit more. So this is another book she added to the box. And then she added this book as well. It is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I've never read Great Expectations. So maybe now that I have it, I can try to give it a read. This one has kind of small print though. So this one's going to take me a while when I do finally get to it. But I love having the classics. Another book she added was Life with Father by Clarence Day. So this is another one that is an older book. So it doesn't have a book flap for me to read to you what it's about. Oh, it has pictures. But it looks like from the title page of the chapters that it's going to be a book about somebody's father because it says a holiday with father father on horseback father is firm with his ailments father wakes up the village so i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stories this includes and the last book she added to the box was two years before the mast so it's this one right here another one that is an older edition so ooh, has a map everybody loves maps in their books so there's that and because it's an older edition again it doesn't have a flap that tells you about the book but it looks good and it has pictures in it so so it looks like it'll be an interesting story I can't wait to actually take these out go to Goodreads and read about them and get excited about them as well but I'm looking forward to reading those ones as well that she added so that's all the books that i got in georgia thank you so much for joining me in this video if you've read any of these books or know about any of these books please leave me a comment in the comment box below i would love to start a conversation with you about any of them 
And as always, you guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I try to record a video at least once a week. And as always, may you have a great morning, day, evening, or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Salmon Joe mugs, Joe mugs, coffee shop, and it's delicious coffee, and it's kind of like Barnes Noble with their starch, Starbucks. I almost said Star Trek.